A very warm welcome to the Smart Monitoring Webinar, Detect Changes in the Machine Power Drive Train Without External Sensors and Measurement Technology, and this in real time. My name is Matthias Spitz, and I will be presenting today's webinar. Before we get started with our webinar, I would um, just like to point out that you will be muted during the webinar. However, you can still ask us questions during the webinar using the chat function. You will find the chat button right down in the corner. Um, the questions asked in the chat will then be answered at the end of the webinar in a question and answer session. We have allowed around 10 up to 15 minutes uh, for this. We will be recording the webinar and you will be sent a link to the recording in an email later. Before we start with our webinar, a few brief words about the company of Baumiller. Baumiller is a global family-owned company with more than 90 years of experience in its core business drive and automation systems, which are used in many industries. And now I will hand over to our speaker, Jürgen Klugosch. And I hope you enjoy the webinar. Thank you, Matthias, for the friendly introduction. Uh, first, I would uh, like to present you the agenda for today. Um, first, we get started with a small overview about the Baumiller Smart Value functions. Then I will give you briefly an introduction to one function of the smart values to smart, named smart monitoring. Here I will give you also an excurse to measurement technology. And also I give you an example how to identify changes in your machine. And finally, I will give you an outlook on future possibilities with smart value. First, uh, what is Baumiller Smart Value? What we understand is that we are generating an additional benefit for the mechanical engineering and operation of the machines by the builder or also by the machine owner. Uh, we already implement for this intelligent drive functions. What does this mean in the reality? The drives are becoming a data and or a sensor hub. This results in new possibility for the user to generate modern applications in industry 4.0 and IoT. And he will be prepared, prepared for future requirements in the sections. Functions from different areas have already been uh, defined and also implemented. Most important are the, is the smart monitoring function, which roughly speaking covers a whole topic of data collection and processing. This function is also subject of this webinar. Furthermore, open interface standards such as OPC or A are provided for the necessary connectivity inside an IoT ecosystem. What is a data hub and what means indirect sensors? First, the meaning of indirect sensors. The drive already collects many data in form of parameters. For example, the motor position, the motor speed, and also the motor current. The smart value functions of the drive process these data values by giving intelligent software functions, by using intelligent software functions in order to achieve the required results. What is a data hub? The drive then makes the, the pre-processed data available to other IoT nodes via open interfaces, such OPC UA. Such IoT nodes can be, for example, a PSC, an edge controller, or also the cloud. 
what is the main advantages uh, of this system? The required space and also the wiring is reduced, reduced by fewer components. Fewer measured signals have to be transmitted through problematic EMC factory buildings. And also the load on the field bus is reduced. How does the drive become a sensor hub? Also, the ex existing analog and digital inputs of the drive can be used for connecting direct sensors on it. The drive will be set acting like a sensor hub. Still, these, these signals can be pre-processed by the drive and can also be distributed to IoT nodes. So the drive is also operating like a data hub. By using modern technology like digital encoder with single cable solution, the sensor signals can be transmitted via the encoder cable. And at least also the motor itself can be uh, serve as a data or sensor hub. Here is a small overview uh, what we are understanding by indirect and direct sensors. Indirect sensor, sensors, uh, the meaning is what I explained before, that the values are already available in the drive. What could this be? Of course, the position, speed, current, motor temperature, power unit temperature, the power unit capacity utilization by the dynamic temperature model could be also an, an, an use case. Um, very important frequency response analysis for detecting some vibrations. Uh, if, this is done by an FFT, fast Fourier transformation. Uh, the motor data, for example, the resistance and the inductance of the winding for checking the motor. And what becomes more and more important is a measuring of the energy values. For example, to calculate an ecological footprint to see the power, the carbonite using of the process to get an ecological decision if this is an, an, a good process or a bad process for carbon dioxide, dioxide uh, generating. Direct sensors are connected to the drive directly. Uh, so the drive becomes a sensor hub, like explained. Um, mostly are used vibration sensors, which are connected to the analog interface of the drive. Additional things are, is, for example, so checking the ambient atmosphere, to check uh, the temperature on additional measuring points. And of course, could be to have some energy cost meters connected directly to the drive to get an overview uh, about the energy consumption of the machine. Next, I want to give you some more details on the smart monitoring functions itself. Smart monitoring is one of the basic function of smart value. Almost all application of industry 4.0 for power drain systems are using some monitoring and recording functions and some data collection and data processing. The data are collected in hard real time inside the drive and could be transferred to higher level nodes for evaluation by a connectivity and, and open interface standards. Here are a few use cases for smart monitoring. Uh, during commissioning, a reference can be recorded. Uh, this reference could be compared with the uh, actual situation of the machine 
to detect some differences between commissioning and actual situation. During operation, it's possible to make an online data sampling uh, to detect in the mid end events that uh, you can see that something changed on your production or on your process immediately. And also, what is very important in, in service cases, um, the monitoring function could be triggered on events, maybe caused by errors, and you can check the data history for analysis on it. Uh, like mentioned before, um, I will give you only on the main topics about measurements, uh, what is important for, for Baumiller. Uh, the definition for real-time systems is given by an ISO EEC uh, definition. If you are interested, please, please take a look on this. Um, Sometimes it's very complicated to read. Uh, what is important for Baumiller or what is important for us to understand that we Baumiller drives and PSCs are working in a hard real time. What is the meaning of a hard real time? Um, it's uh, guaranteed that the data are always available at a specified time span. So the jitter is very small and and we could be sure that the time span is always stable and the same. Otherwise, a real-time system is a hard real-time uh, are is not operable and will stop immediately. This is very important for uh, doing some mathematic analysis on this monitor data. Uh, that it's done in hard real time. Otherwise, it's not possible to make a good calculation, for example, of the speed by uh, by using the difference on the time span. The sampling time, the minimum sampling time of, of this monitoring function is 62.5 microns. Uh, it could be adjusted up to 100 seconds. When you use 100 seconds, this is about 139 days, for example. Uh, the trigger is a very important thing. Uh, in this, uh, the pre-trigger is, is an, an very helpful function. This is what I mean for the service case. You can you can start the capturing, and automatically, if this pre-trigger event happens, the acquisition is stopped, and you can read out the data before this trigger event, and so you can do some analysis on the history. What we are using on the drive for this function is a ring puffer, and uh, this ring puffer could be uh, maximum size about four megabytes. So you can take it for a, a lot of data inside. Next, I, I want to show you this functionality of the smart monitoring function on, on ProDrive. This is an, an live demo uh, for this. I, I'm using uh, a an, an function which is also in a an demo mode inside the pro drives. This is called pro simulation. And with pro simulation, I can uh, make a model of my application. Here you can see it, for example, it, it's, uh, it's uh, a model done by a load, a motor and also a model of the drive, and you have an, an set value generator for giving some speed or some position commands and so on. Of course, we can simulate this. Then we get an, an result uh, which is near the reality because we use, an, we use very good models of our motors and also from the drive side. So the differences to the reality, reality is very small. 
here you can see we can make an import of the data, we can make an export of the data, we have the possibilities of data analysis, as we will show you later. We can set a reference, as I will do now. Uh, that is reference one. And for checking this reference, or for showing it to you, I change now. I simulate a higher load on the motor. This is uh, this is I will do by increasing the inertia of the motor. I start uh, again the simulation, and you see we have two measurements inside one monitor, one monitoring in, inside one record. What we can do now is a data analysis on the stored values. Here we can perform a lot of things. Uh, for example, an FFT, an amplitude and phase error response, for example, on the motor speed. You see the phase and the uh, amplitude response of the system. Uh, we can also do some mathematics on it uh, for your machine checking or for for your documentation on the machine. Here is my start value, reference one. I make a calculation of the effective torque. Takes a little bit time to, to uh, calculate it. We have here 0 0.5 amps. And I can do it now with a higher inertia this could be by a higher load on your machine, on your process. This is, um, I do again this calculation, and see, you see this is 1.5 amps. This means the load at the moment is three times higher. This could be a very easy way for checking some changes in your system and to do some documentation on your machine. Last thing I want to show is an um, on ring puffer, the ring puffer oscilloscope function. Here I will show only the possibility for the configuration of it. We have here also the possibility to use eight channels. We can select a trigger source. We can make some logical combina combination on the trigger. And what I explained before, we have here the pre-trigger function uh, to see what happens before we can adjust from a very small time span up to maximum time. This is a very important thing in case of error diagnostics. So this was a small overview uh, what you can do with ProDrive Pro Simulation. Uh, also, it could be necessary for you to use this functionality without ProDrive, with a separate and third-party tool. For this, we have done uh, together with the ZVEE. So is an, an asset description, model description for the oscilloscope function in the Drive 4.0 definitions. Uh, and this is done by OBC UA. Here you can use an, an OBC UA method for reading and for configuration and for reading out the data of our smart monitoring function via OBC UA. To do this on different platforms, for example, on a Linux PC or on a Windows PC, on a Baumiller PLC, we developed also an OBC UA server which is able to make a an, an translation from our drive protocol, which is a proprietary Baumler protocol, to the UBC UA standard. So you are independent from the Baumler tools to use this functions. Last one, finally, I will give you a short outlook of what the future looks like for smart value at Baumler. We are developing, and uh, we call it Drive PLC, Drive Integrated PLC, uh, PLC DI. 
uh, which is directly mounted inside the drive. It's an additional hardware, uh, but could be operated independently from the drive. There is a an, an fast interface between this PSC and the drive for reading and writing parameters. Uh, there is a Linux uh, real-time operating system on it. Uh, it could be programmed by IEC 61131 for like a normal PSC with motion control, but we are also able by the Linux operating system to use a lot of the Linux IoT community uh, apps which are available like open source, but also, also for commercial apps and so on. It's a very powerful uh, system uh, what can give us uh, data pre-processing and also data sampling and of course the connectivity by uh, a lot of different IoT protocols. Last but not least, we are also working in this moment on an extension of smart monitoring for condition monitoring. We are working on a life cycle detection of peerings, motor peerings, to, to check the actual state of the, the actual condition of the motor peerings. This is done, of course, also with an, an, an vibration analysis by FFT and with, with additional uh, algorithms we are able to detect the condition of the bearings. Uh, for this, uh, hopefully we will have at the summertime uh, reliable results and then we will inform you on a separate webinar on this matter. This could be also a very important thing for us. Okay, thank you for your attention. I am now at the end of my presentation and we we'll give over to Matthias again for starting the question section. Yeah, Jürgen, thank you very much for your interesting presentation. I'm looking to the chat and we have uh, some questions. The first question is, um, are there other use cases for smart monitoring? There are a lot of use cases for smart monitoring plant. Uh, of, of course, one most important thing is condition monitoring, uh, also in the direction of protective mon uh, maintenance and so on. Next use case, which will also become very important for us is energy monitoring and what is called the product carbon footprint, uh, which will become very important in the future for, for who's are given by the government. And will be there in the future a direct connection to the drive via OPC UA without an additional hardware, for example, uh, PLC integrated in the drive? Of course, we will integrate the UPC UA inside the drive in the future. But for the moment, we are searching for an implementation of the UPC UA stack, which will be performance optimized. Uh, the actual situation is that there is a, a, a lot of overload on this UP, OPC UA stack, and uh, we, we have to increase the drive CPU power to use this. But for the future, we hopefully we will find an, an other way not to give the drive more performance because more performance of is of course is more costs. And the next question is, um, will be there in the future a direct connection? No, uh, this was, a, <laughs> sorry. Okay, there is a next question. What are the next steps for smart value? Besides uh, the smart monitoring function I explained and 
uh, functions for smart protection and smart optimization. We are working also on smart identification. Uh, here we will implement an electronic type plate inside our motors and uh, a connection to a device management portal for drive identification by scanning a QR code. Yeah, at the moment we don't have any further questions. Yeah, if you have any further questions after this webinar, please feel free to send us an email to our colleague Jürgen.Klugosch at Baumüller.com and we will then after, uh, answer your questions afterwards. Interesting information on our webinar are available on our website, among the other things, um, under Baumüller Insights. It's a special uh, area in our at our homepage. You will also find the dates of other webinars there. We have a lot of interesting webinars uh, in the next uh, weeks and months. We hope to see you again at one of our other webinars. Now we are at the end of the webinar and we say thank you for your attention and stay healthy and yeah, see you, hear you in the future again. From this side, goodbye from Nuremberg in Germany and bye bye. Thank you very much for your attention. Stay healthy please and bye bye.